Hi, uh, I'm André Sonnstein from uh, Solution Architect from Alice Bob Company, and I want to talk about dynamic deny list management for WAF. So, what you see here is um, the things David just uh, showed you. So, there's an architecture about how his firewall factory can deploy a web application firewall for you into your environment. So, important to know is what you now have and what next steps could be. So this web application firewall secures against most common attacks right at the ingress level. So before it even reaches your application, you can guard against um, most common attacks. And to get started, usually um, I can recommend uh, the managed rules directly from AWS, or you can use a tool like uh, David's firewall factory to get you started. Uh, then you might develop custom routes specific for your application, and um, this is all uh, useful. But the next thing you might want to think about is automated incident response, or um, how can you react to stuff happening at your ingress. Um, so to be aware, if you use a rate limiting rule at your uh, WAF, this only blocks for five minutes or uh, it looks back the last five minutes and counts if it breaches a rate limit. Maybe you have clients conducting reconnaissance, so um, they might violate repeatedly several different rules, or it may, might be uh, testing out your endpoints, so trying to discover uh, which endpoints exist and uh, how they behave, and all those might conduct uh, malicious activity which you um, sometimes can um, defend against in the WAF, but um, the difficult thing is uh, to then conduct, uh, uh, see the attacks which go through. So if one is uh, violating one, you might consider blocking it, this client altogether. So we would need dynamic rules to, and um, to give you an idea how this could look, um, you obviously have to first gather intelligence. We want to build a dynamic list of bad actors. So um, if you use the Kinesis stream, you can directly embed a Lambda um, into your stream uh, processing. Or um, if you have a CloudWatch uh, logs enabled, you can also directly get information from there. Or obviously from your application um, if you have intelligent there. I would suggest feeding it into a DynamoDB to um, be able to directly attach a time to live information. If you base it on IPs, those are not stable, so it um, it's useful to do it this way. And if you now have a list of people um, violating your rules, the next step is to execute um, onto this and um, then you can uh, again use a Lambda to use these IPs, uh, fill it in IP set, and then um, use this IP set to define a rule group, which then blocks attackers. Uh, why a rule group? Um, those are very useful to be uh, able to be shared across multiple WAF instances. So. Um, your uh, intelligence uh, department uh, can gather information and then supply it to all other um, departments. And that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you.